season, but there's still a long way to go. And this week we're getting a little over 600 companies before things pick up again next week. But some big cap companies that we all know are gonna be reporting this week. Which ones should you be watching? Let's take a look. So the first one out of the gate is going to be Disney, ticker DIS. Now this is a Zacks number five strong sell right now as those earnings estimates are actually being cut going into this earnings report. Shares have been weak over the last three months down almost 20%. So you'd think they might be cheap, but the forward P is still 34 because those estimates are being cut. So the shares aren't altogether cheap here. A lot of questions about what's happening with Disney Plus, plus the Omicron impact on its theme parks and its other hospitality leisure like hotels. So a lot going on with Disney, a lot to watch here. It otherwise has a pretty good earning surprise track record. It did have that miss last quarter. So the street didn't like that. That kind of kicked things off on the negative side for Disney. So we'll see what they do this this quarter, if they beat here, um, could be a lot of negative negativity priced in already. So it could be that everybody's just a little too bearish on this one, but we will see. Then let's switch over to Uber on the kind of techie side, techie and transportation, uh, ticker UBER. They have a pretty good track record in the last two quarters, at least, of putting together those beats there. But this too has trended down over the last couple of months. So over the last three months, these shares are down 21%, um, also coming down because they're still expected to see negative earnings. So a loss of $1.05 here in 2021, which is about to wrap up, and then still a loss of 67 cents in 2022. It's going in the right direction towards positive earnings, but not quite there yet. And with rising rates, this is the kind of company with no earnings that the street just does not like right here. So we'll see if this earnings report can give it any kind of boost. Be sure to watch, obviously, Uber Eats side of the business plus Uber Freight and see what's going on with those two segments. But Uber, a lot of people own it. So this is going to be on everybody's watch this week. Then we're gonna switch over to Twilio. Now this is a good earnings surprise track record. No misses in five years, including the pandemic quarters and just huge beats there with those big green arrows. That's what you wanna see, but these shares too, trending lower over the last three months and now down 38% year to date here as uh, people are just fleeing these companies that don't have any earnings. So Twilio expected to lose 27 cents in 2021, but just like with Uber, that's kind of in the rear view mirror now as we wrap up all the data for 2021. But still in 2022, analysts expect a loss of eight cents. So not quite into the profitability yet on the earnings side for Twilio and strong revenue growth just isn't gonna cut it with, for a lot of these companies with those rising rates. So this is definitely one to watch to see if maybe it's getting oversold here and whether or not we might see some insiders diving in. That's what I'm gonna be looking for because the insiders actually did buy at Twilio last year. So will they dive in with these shares down even further? I'm thinking they might, so that's something to watch. Then we're gonna switch over to the retail side, Tapestry. This is formerly Coach, right? Coach and Kate Spade. They had a big miss right when the, the pandemic began there in 2020, but otherwise have put together six beats in a row. That's impressive given everything that's going on out there. These shares kind of stalled out in 2021. They didn't really go higher. They haven't really pulled back much over the last three months down about 10%, but that's not too bad considering some of these others. The shares are cheap here, trading around 11 times. Should retail investors be looking at tapestry, um, especially after this report, after we find out how things are going in China and uh, Europe, as well as here in North America, the consumer has been holding up so I'm thinking things might not be as grim as what the street is expecting. So this is one I'm keeping on my watch list. 
Then we're going to wrap it up with travel. We're getting some of the travel stocks this week. In addition to Expedia here at EXPE, we're also getting Trivago. So that's going to be another one I'm going to be watching. Expedia, one of the leaders in the field. Uh, the, the earnings beats or misses have been iffy here during the pandemic, but the street has basically forgiven those because of the pandemic. And they're coming off a big beat last quarter, and the shares actually trying to break out here. This is one of the unusual ones. They're actually up a bit here year to date and trying to go to those new highs because just like last year at this time, everyone believed travel would be busting out to really mega hot levels in uh, 2021 and they did improve but now that story has been pushed forward to 2022 expected to improve even more so so what do the earnings actually look like so in 2021 expedia expected to make a dollar 41 but in 2022 the analysts are at 729 so that's that's not even doubling or tripling that's i don't even know what ing it's very very hot Booking looks the same. A lot of these big travel, online travel agencies look the same because we all still want to go places and we might be able to go international with that opening. There's going to be even more business. And so, yes, the earnings are looking good, but will it actually happen? Tune into Expedia to find out this week. So there's a lot going on still with earnings season. Yeah, the FANG might have reported, but there's plenty others coming and I'm going to be reporting on all of it as we go along, bringing you all these excellent earnings charts. We're still going to get a lot of the explorers and producers on the energy side. There's a lot of restaurants. We still haven't had most of retail. So you want to be sure to tune in and get all of our earnings all star videos. You can get them on zax.com slash YouTube. Join our YouTube channel. Also check out my Twitter feed because I'll be tweeting out charts that I can't get to here on the videos and you don't want to miss those. But otherwise, I'll see you again next time with some more earnings charts.